Hey beautiful people, this is Kiros Leon and thank you for clicking. I'm wearing a Lady Gaga shirt. Let me, uh, okay. You see her? Yeah, that's Lady Gaga. That's my queen right there. If you're close enough to me or you've been following me on my social media for a while or you just, if you know me in real life, you do know that I'm a Lady Gaga fan. Probably one of the biggest. Um, yeah, I've been a fan since I was eight years old, seven, about to be eight. That's when Just Dance came out. And But I've started being a hardcore fan after Bad Romance came out because that's when a lot of people you know stop standing her because you know she became weird she started wearing a lot of queer stuff blah 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 the meat dress you name it so but i stuck around and 15 years later i'm here yeah i love standing lady gaga standing lady gaga is such a roller coaster of emotions like if you're a person who's willingly to experience a roller coaster of emotions every time every year every month be a lady gaga fan being a Lady Gaga fan is such a hard job, like it's literally the most painful job you could ever have because she's so unpredictable, like you don't really, you would never guess what's going to be her next move. You're probably going to be thinking that she's going to be wearing this and then she going to pull up in the fucking egg and when you're waiting on her to be on the egg, she's going to be wearing a jeans or you know she's lady gaga is lady gaga and i love studying her like if you want to stand lady gaga you gotta be ready mentally and emotionally because like it's not easy it's not easy lady gaga can make you cry lady gaga can make you happy lady gaga can make you want to hug that unknown person lady gaga can make you call your mom and tell her i love you mom lady gaga can make you dance she can make you break your fucking arm lady gaga can make you what whatever emotions that is out there whatever attitude or sadness whatever lady gaga can make you feel that way so if you willingly want to experience a roller coaster of emotions be a lady gaga fan <laughs> i'm not gonna take you too much time without further ado we're gonna get right into this video basically last sunday was the oscar 95th and lady gaga performed her lovely song hold my hands that came out last year in may for the top gun maverick film you know it's been speculated that she was not going to perform that's what that's what they announced that she initially wasn't going to perform because of her busy schedule for the joker that she's rehearsing and filming until i don't even know when it looks like it might take some while but um they say that she wasn't going to perform and last minute or the same day or the morning of the Oscars, it was announced that she was willing to perform, to do something. So this is Hold My Hands, let's watch it. I've heard, I've seen and heard a lot of reviews about the performance. Also, Rihanna performed her hit single, Lift Me Up. Um, it was amazing. We might have to do a little reaction to it, but all right, let's get right into this video. Hold my hand. Yes. I wrote this song with my friend Blood Pop for the film Top Gun Maverick in my studio basement. It's Blood deeply Pop. personal Shout for out. me. And I think that we all need each other. We need a lot of love to walk through this life. We do, we do. And we all need a hero sometimes. There's heroes all around us in unassuming places. But you might find that you can be your own hero, even if you feel broken inside. Mm, yes. 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 Hold my hand. Everything will be okay. I heard from the heavens. The clouds have been gray. She sounds like she's about to cry. Pull me close. Wrap me in your aching arms. I see that you're hurting. Why'd you take so long to tell me you need me? 
Okay, she changed the key. You don't need to show me again. But if you decide to, I'll ride in this life with yes. you. I won't let go till the end. Wow, she changed a lot of keys. Shit. Damn, how did she remember that? So cry tonight. But don't you let go of my hand You can cry every last tear Wow I won't leave till I understand Wow Promise me just hold my hand Oh, she looked beautiful Hold my hand, hold my Wow. Okay, vocals. Shit. Come on, Gaga. Okay, so switch up. Switch in the lyrics. That's Lady Gaga right there. <laughs> Sing, mama. Yes. speechless like i don't know how to i don't even know the fuck lady gaga man lady <sighs> lady gaga is so fucking talented I, sometimes i think that she doesn't get enough credit as a singer you know of course people know lady gaga but there's a lot of people who still like you know kind of like discredit her for what she is as a musician that's that's crazy what she did right there that was crazy like like how can you change so many keys and remember like that that's crazy like like i said i make music and you know i'm trying to sing but the fact that she would take a song and change the keys on that that's crazy and she still sounded so beautiful the song did not lose its you know like the song remained hold my hand that is so crazy she did not sing the second verse for sure so she did the first verse chorus bridge chorus that was beautiful like her raw vocals like the ripped jeans and the converse the fucking t-shirt like her hair braided no makeup at all that is so crazy the fact that she appeared on a red carpet like a whole to totally different person like like la the lady gaga that we know and she kind of like transformed to this whole new person that i'm gonna call her joanne like we really witness the transition from lady gaga to joanne in in a space of like a whole hour like she went from lady gaga to joanne that is so fucking cool lady gaga damn wow what she did right there was freaking beautiful and also not trying to be very critical but i can notice that she hasn't really been training vocally lately i don't know maybe because she's been she has been busy with the the joker you know film you know 
reading the script and acting and all of those things but it, it kind of sounds like she hasn't been practicing a lot lately which is understandable but she still sounded great like damn like that song fucking fire like i'm still speechless fuck all of lady gaga performance at the oscars that's why the oscars respects her so much and keep on nominating her you know it's because she you know from the sounds of music 2015 when she was like okay the oscar i'm here now like lady gaga isn't a newbie at the oscars like she has been she started attending the oscar in 2014 15 when she sang the sound of music 2016 when she performed till it happened to you an amazing song she should have won best song instead of sam smith i love sam smith but that song i don't think it deserved like even people in the audience knew that till it happened to you deserve best song a hundred percent people people were so disappointed in the audience you could have just feel it and then she performed at 2019 for shallow raw vocal bradley cooper they fucking killed it and she won best song finally for shallow and then now hold my hand i was literally not expecting her to perform like this in my head i was just like okay this is the oscar she's probably gonna bring out you know bring out a choir or something or you know very um heavenly type of vibe you know or maybe she's gonna bring out soldiers or you know you know lady gaga but she did nothing of what i was thinking like at all she came out with so something so simple that no one would have expected. That also makes sense because if she decided, if she changed her mind to finally perform like a day or like few hours before, that means that she was only able to prepare something very small, which is so great. Like Lady Gaga, kudos to you. I love you. All right, that's going to be all for this video. Oh, tell me what do you think about hold my hand do you like this version do you not like this version tell me okay uh honestly i like this version more way more than the chromatical ball one yeah i feel like this one would have fit so well actually i was thinking you know at the chromatical ball lady gaga should have sang a piano version of hold my hand and then at the end of the show she could have performed either alejandro or mary the night you know one of her biggest hits you know what I mean? Instead of like, because honestly, I didn't like the way she sang with my hand at the end. I felt like it didn't, you know, we had, you started with bad romance and you're going to end with hold my hand. Like, come on now. She should have ended the show with Alejandro Paparazzi, Mary Denai, Gaga. But that's not the point of the video. All right. We, I love this performance. Let me know what you think about this performance. What, let me know what you think about Gaga. Like, how long have you been standing Gaga? How long have you been a fan? Do you own one of these or not? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so every time I post, you'll be able to see them. And yeah, let's build a community. Let's connect, okay? Subscribe to my channel again. <laughs> and also, if you want, follow me on my social media. My Instagram is stacked down below my twitter and also my tiktok okay guys uh, leave a comment let me know what you think about this performance and yes all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye